Hello and welcome back to the boat sheet. This is another virtual boat sheet because we're still on lockdown. Today we're looking at getting off a dock against a wind blowing you on in a boat with stern drives or outboards. When we looked at the cheat for boats with shaft driven props we promised to do a version of the stern drive so here it is. To move sideways against a wind or tide in a twin with stern drives here's what you do. Turn the helm fully towards the dock in our example to port and slip the dock lines. Now put the engine nearest the dock into forward idle and the other engine into reverse idle. Let's have a quick look at the forces that we've just set up. Because the helm's hard over, the port engine thrust vector is to starboard of the boat's centre of gravity, so it creates a turning moment to port. The starboard engine thrust vector is also to starboard of the boat's centre of gravity, but it's in the opposite direction, so it creates a turning moment to starboard. And, because of the greater distance from the centre of gravity, the turning moment is greater. The engine thrust vectors themselves are equal and opposite, so they cancel each other out. If we did nothing, then the boat would stay where it is, but rotate around its axis to starboard. And this is the key. We stop the turn to starboard by, slightly counterintuitively, increasing forward power on the port engine. Now, the turning movements cancel each other out, but the thrust vectors are different. The port engine thrust vector is going to be larger than the starboard, and so there'll be a residual thrust vector forward and to starboard. If we put that vector back over the centre of the boat, we can see what's going to happen. Of course, the boat's going to move forward and to starboard. When you're as close as you're comfortable to the obstruction or boat ahead, simply put the engine that's in ahead into neutral, keeping your hand on the throttle. Now, the boat turns away from the dock, and movement forward and away from the dock diminishes, and movement aft and towards the dock starts to develop. As the aft end nears either the dock or the obstruction behind, simply put the throttle back where it was in forward drive. In our example, we only had to put the engine from forward into neutral once, but you can repeat these steps as many times as necessary on the day. Once clear of the obstructions ahead, put the engine that's in reverse into neutral, steer to keep pointing where you want to go, and then put both into forward idle and away you go. The problem with this cheat is that it won't work for all stern drives and outboard boats on all occasions, and that's because the cheat relies on the steering allowing the engine thrust vector to go beyond the centre of gravity of the boat. Now many planing hulls um, have a centre of gravity well aft, and it may not be possible to turn the helm far enough to make this cheat work. To find out, take your boat to a clear space and stop the boat heading into wind. Turn the helm fully to port and, keeping the wheel hard over, engage just the port engine in forward gear. If the boat turns readily to port, then it's well suited to this cheat. However, if it refuses to turn or turns to starboard, then this cheat will be less successful and depending on the wind strength and how much windage your boat has, it may not work at all. This is because the thrust vector is still to port of your boat's centre of gravity. There is a simple cheat that might just do enough to make this technique work. You can't move the thrust vector anymore, but you could move the centre of gravity forward and to the side you want to turn away from. Shift as much weight as you can towards the bow and to the side against the dock. Passengers are the easiest weights to move, so get everyone on board to sit as far forward as you can and on the side of the boat nearest the dock, and then try the test again. If it works, then you're in business. If not, then this cheat won't work for your boat unless you can move the centre of gravity further forwards. If your water tank is in the bow, filling it will make a difference. And if you carry lots of food and drink aboard, stow this forward if you need to use this cheat, and then move it aft again once you're off the dock. For some boats though, the helm just can't turn far enough to make this cheat do, do the business. Quick summary then. To move sideways against a breeze in a twin without drives or outboards, turn the helm fully towards the dock, let go all lines, put the engine nearest the dock into forward idle and the other engine in reverse idle. Increase power on the engine in forward to stop the boat turning. As the boat moves forward and, and away from the dock, keep an eye on obstructions ahead and once you're closing on those obstructions, 
put the engine from forward into neutral. The boat now moves aft and towards the dock and turns away from the dock. When you're closing on the dock or the obstruction behind, put the engine that's in neutral back into forward gear and apply the same power as before. Repeat those steps as necessary until you're clear of the obstructions. Put the engine that's in reverse into neutral, steer, and then put both engines into forward idle and away you go. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. To help us make more boat cheap films, please click subscribe. We promise we won't send your data to anyone or send you any emails.